with Nils Nielsen from Triathlete Magazine and he's here to shoot the US Xterra Championships here in Ogden, Utah. And Nils, what I've heard is that Lance Armstrong actually has asked not to be photographed from the front because his outfit is actually so thin and light to create an aerodynamic and you know weight advantage that it actually creates a little bit of sheerness in the junk area. So is that true, Nils? Cannot confirm nor deny. There you have it. Don't look at Lance's junk tomorrow. Okay, I'm here with uh, Trey Garman, who's vice president of Team Unlimited. And, uh, you know, I guess you guys are pretty excited about Lance Armstrong being here. Very excited. Yeah, and so I saw there was a bunch of media people up at Snow Mason today. And what I heard is he's actually launching a new book. See, and I heard the title was, It's All About the Mountain Bike, Not All About the Bike. And is that true? Because that's what I've heard. He's actually got a new book coming out. I haven't heard about that, but that'd be pretty cool. No, but it's happening. All about the mountain bike? It's yeah, I'm here with Lance Thatcher, who's part of the Melrad Racing Team, and Lance, his name is Lance, and he's from Texas, so obviously you're related to Lance Armstrong. Oh yeah, baby. So, I got the looks, he's got the legs. <laughs> okay, so, so Lance must have called you and asked for some advice. What advice did you give him before he came here? Well, look out for a racer girl, because you could get shit. <laughs> I don't, I don't think that's very likely, but uh, I heard he can swim pretty fast. Have you been giving him some tips? Of course. <laughs> Read every other stroke. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and so um, what is it about Texas that makes all you men so fast? What's the deal with that? First shit kickers. <laughs> <laughs> I say that on TV. <laughs> there you have it. It's because Lance and Lance have shit kickers. So I'm here with Bill Kelsey from the Timex team. He's racing in the Pro Men's race tomorrow. And uh, Will, I thought we would just weigh in on this Blackhawk helicopter that Lance is going to drop out of. What do you think of that? Yeah, I, uh, I actually went ahead and confirmed that with him. So I went ahead. Uh, I'm a little slow on the swim, so I need every little advantage I can to get yeah. out in front. So I went ahead and I rented a blob, and I'm actually going to place that directly under Lance's helicopter. <laughs> so when he hits the blob, he'll launch me off the other end and out nice. in the front into the lead. Nice. There so, you have it. It's called the wipeout start, and yeah. uh, that's how we'll I'm here with Bob Abbott, co-founder of the Challenge Athlete Foundation. And it's awesome to have him here because he's got this crazy history in sport triathlon, including carrying a sleeping bag on his bike in the 1982 Ironman. Wow. Boy, how was that memory? Yeah, I know, I know my stuff. Okay, so Bob, let's let's start talking about kicking okay. in old school for a second. Okay. So what I understand is that Lance in 1995 had a very specific um, material that his bike was made out of at the tour, and that's why Ulrich are going to be shot out the back because it had anti-magnetic properties. Really? Yes. And so what I understand is yes. he's actually resurrected this frame for this race. So if we see any of the men having a hard time sticking to his wheel, it's probably going to be that bike. Has like. Have you heard any of these sort of allegations down in San Diego? Because I know it is the center of the universe for traveling. It is the center of the universe. And, uh, yeah, it is a special alloy. Nothing is fixed for us. Everything has to go blown off the bat. It's just the way it is. It's part of it. Part of it. Mm -hmm. When you win seven trip cross championships, nothing, nobody could be in the winner. I don't even know why Conrad scored some kind of showing up. I know, really, it's it should just open. be the women, right? Because we're the only ones who have a chance here. The women are the only people anybody cares to see. Alright, so I'm here with Sheep Pursuit from Lava Magazine. And uh, we're here. Yeah, holy cow! Oh, I think that's fans, fans. Can you be quiet? in the back. Anyway, so are you lost? Because there's no one yeah, anything here. Like, I, what are you doing? I was doing here? a dog point, it's like I just got back. So it's on like the way a, to Kona and like. There's an emergency dropped, landing. Yeah. An emergency off landing. Of in Austin, of all places. Okay, so are you, are you okay? Because you know, there's like a lot of really relaxed people here, probably having a beer before the race. You know, there's like wearing baggy pants instead of like the rest of the stuff. I'm really shocked. There's not enough like total focus and stress. Exactly. We are really not stressed out enough. But that being said, I'm pretty sure Lance is in here, so he's obviously at home with his compression box. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So, getting like lunch stuff on the Yeah. So, like as an Ironman guy, like what do you, what would you say to Lance right now, like to really get super amped up for this? Like, uh, what do Ironman people do right before they go out and stress out about race? Uh, walk into an ice, uh, like ice cave and uh, meditate. Yeah. Like a total sensory deprivation environment. Yeah, yeah. Kind of like nothing that's happening here tonight. So, um, you know, what did, did, does Lava Magazine 
ever led a mindset, you know, Xterra is this much more fun than that sport, or would it be bad for your leadership to no, have them no. come over to this sport? No, it's, it's, this, this sport is fantastic. It's, yeah. it's, uh, it's an absolute degree from, from the total scrutiny on, like, serious uh, watching a split. That whole mentality of like, you head down the hill, this is more fun. You know, you're, you're racing the horse, you're not racing the guys in front of you or behind you, you're racing the, the divots and the drop offs and the lock guards and everything else. Yeah, you wouldn't want to look at your run splits in those cars because you're running pretty slow miles. Like, seriously. <laughs> well, anyways, it's so good to have you here. Thank you for coming out. Thanks for the cool surprise this out. Yeah, well, you know, we're letting you come because, you know, we're like just going to let you in a little bit of the secret of how cool this sport is, but it's pretty happy.